So one of the most common questions I get asked is my advice to high school girls who want to be traditional wives in the future. So first of all, you may or may not be super supported in this idea and that is okay. Coming from me, I was not super supported in my decision to drop out of college and become a traditional wife, but I will tell you this, your family members and your friends usually come around and if they don't, that's okay. You are supposed to be happy in life and being happy is gonna look different for everybody. To go to college or not is a personal decision, so think wisely about what you really want to do. Don't feel pressure to go to college. Don't feel pressure not to go to college. It's okay to take a gap year, take a step back. You just graduated high school. You've probably been in public school your entire life since you were five and it's okay to just take a breather and figure out what you want to do. Personally, I was homeschooled in high school and after I was done with high school, I took a gap year and I got a part-time job at a supplement store and that is where I learned a lot about nutrition and supplements and I had a lot of fun with it. And then I went to college, I went to community college a year later. I highly recommend community college I would recommend that over university any day, especially because your first two years are very important and you don't want to go back and forth when it comes to changing your major. When you go to a university, you have to pick a particular major, whereas in community college, you have more broad majors to choose from. So it's a lot less stress when it comes to picking your courses and your major. Community college also gives you the chance to stay home with your family, which I think is so important. If you have a very loving, supporting family that wants the best for you, stay at home. I don't know what this whole rush is to, to get out of home. And you know, you see 18 year old girls getting apartments together and working full time just to pay for those apartments. And it's silly. If you don't need to leave the home, then don't leave your home. On a serious note, that is my number one tip for young girls wanting to be traditional wives. Do not leave home unless you absolutely need to or you don't have a healthy dynamic at home. Stay home as long as you possibly can. Contribute around the house, do chores. Contributing around the house also will teach you homemaking skills. Learn to cook, practice recipes in your family's kitchen and feed your family delicious food and new recipes you've tried. Clean the house, help your mom out if you can and learn different cleaning techniques. If you would like to, get a part-time job. This is so much fun to experiment and usually these part-time jobs are nothing super serious. They're just to get you out in the world, in the working world and give you some experience especially like customer service experience. Again, I worked at a supplement store and I was homeschooled for high school. So I became really shy and introverted. And I think getting into that supplement store and learning customer service skills and learning how to speak to people and help people really helped me because in the beginning it was, it was hard. Like I would just laugh awkwardly when I didn't know what to do. And I think the longer I worked at that store, the better I became at communicating with people. One of the biggest pros to staying home, having a part-time job or going to community college is that you kind of still get to be like a kid and, and to feel like a kid. You're dependent on your family and you're still safe at home, but you're able to take that next step into the big world, which is getting a job and just having that experience and being able to spend money. You learn to spend money a little bit more wisely and you learn how to save up for things rather than just asking your mom or dad for money to get things. You have to learn, okay, well this paycheck, I can get this. And then maybe the next paycheck, I can get that. I want to add, you don't need to go to college. You shouldn't feel pressured to. If you want to be a traditional wife in the future, you don't need to go to college. This narrative that women who don't go to college or people in general who don't go to college are uneducated is so false. We have the internet, we have books, we have so many resources at our fingertips. You don't need to go to college to get educated. 
In fact, you will save yourself so much money if you do decide not to go to college or if you just go to community college for your associates. Another tip is to get involved in something extracurricular. If you want to be a traditional wife, part of being a traditional wife is that you are serving your family and you are serving others that you love. And a great way to practice this is to get involved in something that doesn't pay you. So volunteering. So you can get involved in your local church, the church that maybe you've grown up going to, and you can help with the children's center. This is a great way to get also to get involved with children and learn how to care for them. So those were just some tips for younger girls who want to be traditional wives in the future. Remember, the best tip I can give you is to involve yourself in things that are going to better you as a wife and a mother in the future and better you as a homemaker in general. So I hope these tips helped you guys and best of luck to you younger ladies.